everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate you and the time that you dedicate to our channel. We have a beautiful kaleidoscope quilt here, uh, also known as a stack and whack. It's got a lovely big border uh, that I mitered. That, that was very fun to do. Uh, and it was uh, definitely a, a, a skill tester for me but I'm happy I succeeded, <laughs> at least I think I did. And there was lots of goodies left over from some of the cuts that we got to make some great gifts for, from, for some very lovely people. So what I have going on here in the border is from this part here all the way up to where I have base stitched it. I've got uh, a stitch out of a feather and a rope going on. I'm leaving this dark border here as a nice border to it. So let's uh, resume. I chose Robin's Egg uh, Blue Thread to pull out some of the blues in the quilt. There was lots of greens and lots of purples, uh, but I really wanted to help highlight that blue. So this is going to be one of the quilts that are going to hang out here at the quilt shop for when we do get the retreat, uh, retreat uh, started and built and people can start coming and hanging out here. This is going to be one of the ones on the bed. The one of many. We have, we have a few. So this rope and feather stitch out is going to do about four times and then I have something else going in the corner of each. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll do something different in the center of the quilt, leaving the gap right here unquilted. That's a nice little picture frame. I have the uh, marbled uh, purple with all the little circles, the different colored purples. That is the backing to this quilt. I just thought it was very appropriate for it. And then that way the Robin's Egg Blue thread will really show up on. All right, here comes the rope part. Oh, how pretty that is. Lovely. And for how high it's going to go. It's going to go about right up to the top ish here. And that's, you can see where it's prepping to link into the next feather as it stitches out. Very nice. Oh, that looks lovely. A beautiful pop of color. And then into the feather. Perfect. Looks lovely. Loving that color. Sometimes it's hard to uh, pick out a color for a quilt. It could be kind of really confusing. Um, I just try to pick out what I want to highlight. Is there a color in the quilt that I really want to highlight? And then go from there. Do I want it to be in your face? Do I want it to be subtle? Those are our, our choices as quilters. We get, we get those choices, right? How, how else? we quilt it. Well, there's many ways to quilt it. Obviously there's hand stitch, there's machine this way or via your domestic machine. You can tie, you can um, sew crosses across the seams. There's there's lots of lots of different ways. I like this feather stitch out. And of course I adjust it to what the space I needed for it to stitch out in the border. I like how like perfectly it links up. Looks really good. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. We had a fantastic time on uh, my birthday weekend. It was awesome and amazing. Thank you everybody for hanging out. Appreciate your time, your hugs, your loves. Just about going into the rope again. Almost. It's getting there. That's going to be so pretty. So something different in the corner. I've got, it's a, actually a, a teapot. 
stitch out. I really like it. And I'm putting it on, I'm going to put on the, all the quilts that I can, so, that are going to be here in the quilt shop. At least, at least one or two. This was going all one in each corner, so. Very nice. Love it. Yeah, this was, uh, I've seen the kaleidoscope done in uh, sections of six, um, depending on the size of your triangle, and sections of eight. This one was a section of eight. Uh, and of course, it was lovely panels like this one right here that you just cut on the certain spot. But the key point to that is finding a common spot on the section you want to be in the center of your project. And then to me, it was taking the pin and going through all eight layers or all through six layers at that one spot and then hopefully it was yeah you didn't have a lot of shifting after that so and then be very very careful with your cuts and it was really fast to actually put together once you got two pieces two pieces two pieces and then you just kind of boom and add the corners on you got yourself a nice 16 inch by 16 inch block in no time flat well that's what this end one ended up to be but you know it's actually a, a really quite a fun and um, like I said it's a little bit scal skill challenging do you want some of those points to look pretty nice in the middle and they're not perfect but I'm happy with them <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Love the thread. Looks so lovely. I really just kind of pick it out on this from that blues. So pretty. All right, we're going to let Walt keep stitching out. And uh, maybe I, I can uh, include at the, uh, the, um, the teapot at the end. Okay. So pretty. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.